potatoes and have a box salad. Which I will start by washing the hands. And tonight is super simple. <laughs> I have a new grill pan that I want to try out. So, in case. I haven't actually used them. I usually grill out, but it's one of those that has the waffles on the bottom, so I get the grill marks, even if I'm not grilling out. So, there we go. All right. Um, to start off with, I'm actually going to start with my potatoes. I'm going to chop a little bit of onion and spicy jalapeno to put it in there. Welcome, you've got Mary Burke live. Yes, this is how you know that you're on the right account because you've got me live. I do need a knife, so hold on. I don't know where all my knives went. The knives that I want are in the sink. So, let's start with that. Thank you for following me. If you don't follow me, you should follow me. Always up to something, and I like to uh, include you in what I'm doing. So, tonight is easy chicken on the stove top. And some potatoes. I'm going to do it all in one, um, one bowl, I guess. One, one bucket, one, one pan. We're going to do it all, all together. <laughs> Just gonna do it all together. All right. So I was watching something. I was watching Gordon Ramsay. And uh, thank you for the hearts and thank you for joining in while I make dinner tonight. Thanks for joining me for dinner. Um, the way that Gordon Ramsay cuts is a, a pepper. He doesn't cut it like everybody else does or like I've always done it. He actually goes down the length of it like so and avoids the membrane and the seeds. Now I am not nearly as talented but we're going to try it out his, his method because I already have seeds there. But we're going to keep on trying. Keep on keeping on. Thank you so much for joining me as I am now slicing my jalapeno. And you're left with the seeds and the membranes in the middle and you can chuck those and here you have your spicy jalapeno. Right. Minus so now you don't have to de-seed it or, <laughs> or um, uh, de-seed it or, uh, 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 or continue, you know, getting into, it helps if I take all the seeds off. So I like that method so far. Additionally, uh, make sure you grab the steel and pinch, pinch the steel. Don't run your finger down the top like so. You should pinch as you as you slice. Slice and dice. And that's about as good as it's gonna get because after that, my chopping skills are not so good. I'm better at the long strokes than I am at the dicing. All right. But we're gonna we're gonna chop it up. I am probably not gonna use all of this in there. But I will save some for later. And I'm going to move this over a little bit and back a little bit so hopefully everybody can see me. Yeah. All right. And now I'm just going to chop it into smaller pieces. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I am just prepping and getting ready to do some... Uh, easy chicken 
an easy grilled chicken in a, in a, a grill pan on the stove top. And I, uh, you know me, I love it spicy. So I am adding some jalapeno and I'm gonna add, oh, instead of onion, I wanna put in some shallots. If you uh, know what shallots are, if not, I'm happy to show you the difference. This I have right here is a sweet onion, a sweet Vidalia onion. But what I'm going to get out of the refrigerator, hang with me guys, hang with me, is a, there we go, is a shallot. And I, I am also a fan of shallots. It has more of a flavoring between an onion and garlic. So it's not quite. And I'm making a small plates tonight. Uh, um, I'm also not very proficient <laughs> at slicing. Um, I know there's a whole way that you're supposed to slice and to dice an onion. I'm not. Um, I'm not good on that one either. I usually end, take off both ends, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> because I can. But thank you for joining me this evening. It does have a skin, so it has a protective skin, so make sure you take off your protective skin. Yeah. You don't want to you don't want to be biting on the skin. <laughs> You want the juicy nettles. All right, now I'm just gonna slice it. Same thing. I'm just gonna do slivers here. Nice and easy slivers. And this is gonna cook in with my potatoes. All right, potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Thank you, you've got Mary live. Happy Memorial Day weekend, where we uh, remember all that have served for us. And thank you so much. I don't know about you guys, but growing up, Memorial Day wasn't, I mean, it's a kickoff to the, to the summer for most people. But growing up for me, it was not a particularly fun holiday. Uh, it was mostly spent uh, going to grave sites with my family and putting memorials on, you know, flowers and, and everything on all the grave sites, especially for anybody that served in the military. So that was how what I did <laughs> growing up. All right, so now I'm going to take some of that shallot that I have sliced and also put it in a bag. Why am I putting it in a bag? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. I didn't do a marinade. So this is going to be sort of my, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick marinade. Now we're on to my baby potatoes. I got their baby gold potatoes, little baby potatoes. And they cook up nice and easy and quickly. That's the, that's the best part is they cook up nice and quick. Again, grabbing it right between your thumb and forefinger. I am going to slice these in half. And I'm only going to use about half the... Um, let me roll those. <laughs> they rolled right off. The babies rolled right off the, right off the, the cutting board. So... Thank you so much for joining me. And again, as, as I said earlier, and I'll continue to say, you've got Mary live. And this is how you know, and you hear Stella, but this is how you know you've got the correct account for me because I am live with you right now. There are many fakes out there, so just be careful that you're dealing with the real Mary. So I hope that you have nice plans or fun plans for the weekend. I will be here on the farm and uh, working the farm. A lot of it will be brush clearing. Uh, there 
if you've been following me, and thank you for the hearts. I think I have a heart. Thank you for the hearts. Uh, I have dropped 11 trees <laughs> yesterday while I was putting together something outside. I have a new patio set. So while I was putting together the patio set, <laughs> a tree fell. All I heard was thump. <laughs> And I look over, and in the in the woods was a uh, tall, probably thirty foot uh, pine tree that just boom, went down. So, uh, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? It still made a sound. I heard it. All right. So I've used about half the bag. Again, I'm going. I'm doing light stuff tonight, so it's not not crazy. I'm now going to take my potatoes and put them in the bag as well. Why am I doing that? Thank you for hearts. I love the hearts and diamonds and the gifts. I love giving gifts. What girl doesn't love to give gifts? So, and I may chop a little bit more since I went heavy on the shallot. That was a big, is that a dog or a fox? I think that was a, a dog that I, a gift. Thank you so much. I like the puppy. There, I'm gonna cut a little bit more of my, there, a little bit more, a little bit more. You know me, I like it spicy. I have to have it spicy. So, all right, there. Excellent, now I'm gonna put that, now, the important thing with that is to wash my hands afterwards and not touch my eyes <laughs> after I have chopped jalapeno because that is no bueno there. So I'm gonna do that before I do anything else. There. The sun is setting behind me. I don't know if you can see out my window but the sun is setting, it is beautiful out there. There is lots and lots of um, pink tones in that sunset. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for the hearts. I love when you guys give me hearts. Uh, now I have to go over behind me here. Uh, I have some oils up on the shelf as well as my spices are up here. This is, you're in the bunkhouse with me, and this is the remodeled bunkhouse. I have been rehabbing it from the start. As you can see, the casings still isn't around the window yet. That is still a project to be done. So hang with me. We'll be, get up there and nail it. Nail that trimming right up there. It, it's going to be a simple farmhouse design, uh, but everything here you see has been redone. Um, I pulled it all out and put in, we uh, put in new cabinets, uh, we drilled the drawers, um, the, I did have professionals come in and bring in a new leather granite countertop uh, with a workstation, single basin, uh, stainless steel um, sink, and the farmhouse uh, nozzle on here with the sprayer and my new floating shelves and I have uppers as well as you can see my uppers still don't have my my handles on it I also installed the flip down it didn't come with it so it came with it uh, it all tacked up and I purchased the slip-ins here so so the, and then the hinges, so it hinges down. Now, let me go get some of the, the oils. Let's see. I have garlic, rosemary, basil, or chili pepper. I think for the, I think for, I'm gonna grab some spices along the way. Just gonna grab what I like. <laughs> uh, I like it, so I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna shake, 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 shake up the oil too because the oil has lots and lots of garlic in it. So this is a garlic oil. So hang on, I wanna make sure that when I 
pour it over my uh, potatoes that it gets really, really covered. But I don't want to use too much oil either. All right, there we go. Now that should be good. Now I'm just going to simply pour it over the top. Yeah. Not too much. Not too much. And then it's the grinder. So I'm just going to crank away on the grinder. Yeah. All right. Get some pepper in there. I'm working it. I'm twisting it and grinding. Grinding on it. Well, I can smell it. There we go. <laughs> if you see me start sneezing, you know I put enough pepper in there. And then this product here, I absolutely love. It's tastefully simple. You can't buy it uh, in the stores. You either have to get it through a consultant or you can go to tastefullysimple.com and buy garlic garlic seasoning and it has a whole bunch of, of other stuff in it and it tastes great i put it on pretty much everything as well as um, i make a dip out of it come the holiday seasons i love to use a dip uh, for a, i make a beer bread they also have a beer bread that i use their beer bread i can make my own beer bread uh, from scratch it just never tastes as good for some reason. I'm missing that one little ingredient that they put in it. So again, healthy, healthy shake, shake, shake of the garlic, garlic. Now I'm gonna seal it and massage it and massage that oil all over. Make sure that I get a good solid covering on all those potatoes and my shallots and my, yeah, really work it in and massage it all over. There we go. Good coverage. Thank you for joining me live. Well, I am just prepping the potatoes that are going to, those are going to go on first because that is going to take longer to cook than the chicken breast. Well, so I did not read, <laughs> I, even though I'm here on the farm and I have chickens and I do a lot of stuff that is farm to table, uh, the jalapenos, my jalapenos here on the farm aren't ready. My jalapenos at the, at the beach house are ready. However, that's six hours for me, so I'm not going to be using those ones. And I'm not using eggs tonight, which I do often use in my cooking from repurposed, right now not repurposed from the farm, but I, uh, <laughs> a farm to table. I have planted some peppers up here. They're just not ready yet. And one of the dogs got a hold of two of my pepper plants. If you saw my Mother's Day, if you saw my Mother's Day live, I went over planting some flower boxes with your, with your mom. That's a nice Thing to do together, go buy the annuals and the little flower box and get together and, and you know get your hands all dirty and put it and put a put together a flower uh, a flower box and then that way even if you can't be with your mom and you got together to do that then come uh, the rest of the summer she has something every time she looks at it she'll remember the time that you spent together. So now I'm just going to spread this around and empty that on. Shake it all up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake some arm. Shake your body. There we go. I think I got it all. <laughs> all right, that is going to be trash. And I'm going to use that. Okay, now I'm just spreading it out over the, over the whole thing. And we're going to put it on, on a low heat. about a three and I just put it in the grill pan so that pan has ridges on the bottom so you will get some scoring or grill marks on it 
Now it's time to get the chicken. So let me get a little bowl to put. There we go. I'm just going to get a little bowl to put the rest of this in there because I will box it up for later to be used at a later time. Now, let's also rinse off get that sprayer going, get a nice spray over that, cool you off, wipe it down, start with a good surface. Thank you, you've got Mary live, and I'm doing easy chicken on, a, on the stove top with a grill. Uh, pan and potatoes and then the potatoes are half shallots and jalapenos. Boy, it's hard for me to remember just those three ingredients. And now it's time to do the chicken. It's the chicken is going to be pretty much the same way because I'm going to add it to that that pan. So <laughs> thing with wearing. <laughs> The thing with wearing overalls is I get stuck on things a lot. So my doors and drawers, oftentimes I, my pocket <laughs> will get stuck on, well, I will get stuck on, I won't get stuck on band-aids because band-aids stick on me. If you, anybody remembers that, uh, uh, I'm stuck on band-aids because band-aids stuck on me. It was a commercial when I was a kid. And let's go grab our chicken. I just use Green Lives Chicken. Uh, Publix is a big grocery store near me, so that's what we got. If I did not farm to table my chicken. I have done that in the past, and it has not been filmed. Uh, but there, I have uh, done just that. Uh, we're We've had to cull some of the chickens, which there were too many of them, so they did get culled from the flock and re and used. So either for ourselves or for the other animals on the on the farm, such as the uh, the dogs and the cats, it makes excellent uh, dog and cat food. You make a mash out of it, so it's wholesome. You make a, a mash with rice and, and carrots and stuff. And it, it's, it's like a wet cat food, except for that it's completely natural and wholesome. So, let's see. Thank you for joining me. We're, again, we're just working that chicken breast. All I want to do is trim the fat. So, I am not one that likes the fat on things. Even... Even steaks, I will trim the fat on the steaks too. I know there's a whole grouping of people that it, the flavor, the flavor, the flavor. It, I just, I can't do it. If I'm cooking it, if I get it that way, maybe. But if I don't like getting fatty pieces in my in my steak or any or my chicken, so even the tender, even that, um, even the you know, that membrane, that the, uh, the tenderloin, sometimes it has that membrane in there. Anyways, so I'm just trimming some of that fat off. And I like to trim away from me, not towards me. And I, I use the thumb and finger technique, please, because that does give you better accuracy and control over the knife than running it over the top. And I've got a little extra on me. <laughs> got a little extra that doesn't want to come off. Don't we all have a little extra that doesn't want to come off? <laughs> there. All right. So I'm hoping that you guys all have nice plans for this Memorial Day weekend. I will be here working on the farm and sharing it with you. A lot of burning of the the down trees. So 
So there's not too much fat to trim, really, so we're pretty good there. I'm just going to pick that up and put that over right in there. Oftentimes, I will save the, that fatty part and fry it up. And what is left over, I do give to the animals. And if you happen to see any bruises on this arm, the BSE is still have, still have it there. Uh, that is from when I flipped the <laughs> my side by side, the Can Am. I took it four wheeling, and you may or may not have seen that TikTok or reel or short. Uh, I I did. <laughs> I flipped it. I didn't have the cameras rolling at the time that I flipped it though, so I don't hear this. Do you hear? I want this up a little bit higher. Alright, get that going a little bit higher. But I did, I, I, I did, I flipped it. I did it good. It was, uh, it was Mother's Day. So I did the Mother's Day live and I did the fire boxes and then I went out four wheeling and ended up at the emergency room. But hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. That's the way it happens. And there's no sense of getting upset because it's over with, it's done. I'm okay, nothing was broken, so it was a good day. <laughs> um, but I will be, <laughs> getting back to what I was saying before, I will be working here on the farm. Uh, the pole barn is up, still working on finishing off the garage section of it, but there's one wall of the garage is up, so now the the uh, Jaguar can go right in there. The rest of the vehicles are underneath the in, in the pole barn, including the ATV and the UTV. And, oh, now I'm, I'm starting to hear it sizzle. Can you hear it sizzle? Excellent. I do want a little bit of a sizzle going on over there, even though I want it on low. I do want it to sizzle just a little bit. I want it to cook a little bit longer and, and get it all kind of crispy and cooked just a little bit because the, the chicken's not going to take all that long. It's just not. But we can move on to the next portion. I'm going to need a bigger bag. I took out a small bag. I'm going to need a bigger bag for that. And I'm going to, even though I'm going to use the same pan, I'm going to use a different flavoring. I did grab my chili pepper. Again, I like it spicy, guys. So I am going to coat the chicken in just a little bit of this, this chili pepper. So get a good, get a good go, get a good, get good. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. Can you hear it? Thanks so much for joining me. You've got Mary live. Well, I'm making an easy chicken dinner. The chicken is already here. And <laughs> I am doing some potatoes on the stove top right now. And then once that gets, once I get the chicken in the pan, it's time to start and toss our salad. <laughs> I have a salad with every meal. Well, every dinner, I should say. Every dinner I do make a salad. So I love salad. Um, it's a great way to start off a meal and gets us our, our, uh, our daily requirements. So chicken's going in. Chicken's going in. Going in the bag. Going in the bag. And I could, I could have um, coated these first in there. But I'm going to massage these breasts. So stay tuned. And I'm kind of a freak about that. I have to wash my hands anytime I touch uh, the meats and stuff like that, especially if they're uncooked. So you will see me do that. I'm just going to roll them around a little bit on this cook surface. Now I don't have, and I'm going to put a little, just a little bit of water in here. Steam it just a minute or two. 
get that going. Good. And here's here's a funny thing. I don't have a cover, a top. I don't have a top that fits. <laughs> the top doesn't fit. So I am using a cookie sheet just to cover it for a minute or two. Let it steam a sec. There we go. So that's what I have to do there. Now it's time to massage those breasts with oil. Shake up that, that oil. And as you can see, this one hasn't been used yet. I'm excited to see what the flip, how it, the flavor turns out. Yeah. Not too much, just a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. And then some garlic, garlic. I'd like, I'll, I'll use a couple of good shakes of that. And we'll do some extra shakes. Some extra shakes of the garlic, garlic. And now, okay. again, we're gonna grind right on top of it. Get it all ground in there. Just keep twisting and grinding and working it. Right. Make sure all the pepper gets in the bag, not on the, the surface. All right. Squeeze it down, get all the air out of it. Because it, it's not easy to massage when it's full of air. <laughs> you got to get all the air out. All right, and now we're just going to work those breasts, work them over. That almost looks like a little bit of a buffalo sauce to <laughs> it. That's not my intention. It shouldn't be buffalo-y, but it is a chili, so we shall see. Oh, yeah, work those breasts. Get it nice and covered. Massage it in. Make sure all the spices are covering it. There we go. Thank you for joining me tonight for dinner. I have one breast for me and one breast for you of chicken right here. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> and then a big old potatoes. The potatoes are coming along nicely. I can I can smell them cooking. Yeah. Now I'm going to go wash off my board here, and I'm not going to use that again. Let's get a different board. I'm going to switch it up for the salad. I'm going to use my wooden board, my hardwood oil rubbed board here for my, there we go, I can't stop myself in the breast. <laughs> and this is how you know you've got the real accounts, right? This is how you know you got the real Mary on live with you tonight. And, you know, there's lots of fakes out there. Everywhere that there, everywhere you go, doesn't matter what platform you're on, there's fakes of these, so just make sure you're dealing with the real Mary, that you're following the real Mary, that you're chatting with the real Mary. I don't ever send out things to you saying that I'm gonna follow you unsolicited unless you have uh, you know, sent me a DM first asking for me to follow you. Or if you're like a huge uh, contributor to uh, the uh, diamonds and hearts and that sort of stuff, then I'll follow you back. But, you know, you won't get something from me in saying, hey, I'm asking to, to follow you. It's just not me. So, okay. Um, let's see what's going on here. I need... I just get the fingertip one, so <laughs> I think I like a puppet. Just like a puppet. All right, let's take that off.
you're enjoying my content. Thank you for following and helping make my videos and my stuff go viral. I couldn't do it without you, so thank you very much for joining me and following me. If you don't follow me, please follow me. It's lots of fun to follow me. I'm always up to something. We're always doing something together. I always need the helps of my neighbors. And I try to include you in this journey here at the farm. There's always plenty to do. Okay. So now, let's take out and put in those massage oil chicken breasts. Big plump breath right there. All set. Turn up the heat a little bit. And this is all set. Now hang with me. I gotta go get the salad stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for dinner tonight. We're gonna have a good, good dinner together. Uh, let's see. I need some set. I need some. I need some lettuce. And I like my salad to have lots of stuff in it. It's not just lettuce. I like lots of stuff in my salad. Okay. Lots of veggies. Okie dokie. This is what I'm having tonight. Let's see. We're going to have, let's do some spring mix and some butter lettuce. So we'll get those going. And I'm just going to rip, <laughs> I'm just going to grab that head and rip the leaves off, peel them back. And I usually peel off the first couple of outer ones anyways and don't use those. Those are usually I tend to be the most bolted ones. But here, if I come across anything that's brown, that goes away. I'm not going to use that. But just hold on to that head tightly. Actually, not so tightly. It's just nice and light. Okay. That's enough of that. I'm not doing a huge salad. And again, there's lots of stuff in it. So, And then I have the spring mix here. Let's get into there. Get some spinach, some mescaline, some of the red stuff. Let's add it all in there. That's it. Let's add it all in there. And this one comes already that off, off, off the head. It comes loose. There. Now I've hand selected those morsels that, gonna, that we're going to eat. Hand selected which lettuces and spinaches and everything. Alright. Now, yeah, gotta be rinsed. Okay, we're gonna put that on. And let's just Toss it right here. Yep. There you go. Gonna get all that water to drip right out of it. And then I missed one of the butters, so I have to shred it just a little bit. I kind of like it when it's already bite sized too. <laughs> so I don't have to get a fork in there. I mean a knife in there. 
and cut it up. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining Mary Live. Thank you for the hearts and the comments. I love it. And it is going to be hard for me to comment back while I'm, while I'm busy here making my, tossing my salad. I haven't really tossed, tossed yet. I will give it a little pat down too. I don't have one of those spinner things. <laughs> Do it the old fashioned way. Just whoop, and you lose some to the floor. Stella! Stella, where are you at? There's some lettuce on the floor for you. <laughs> she likes veggies. I have a at the at the beach house, I have a tortoise. His name is Jeffrey. And Jeffrey gets salad every day, along with um, along with uh, uh, vegetables. Oop. And I, I got caught again. And now I have a nice wooden bowl. See, I like me and my wood. I gotta have wood everywhere. So we're just gonna pour that right in there. Excellent. And I found another big, big leaf. So I'm gonna shred that a little bit. But <laughs> the and you may have seen him. I don't know if I've done, I think I've done one where he tried to eat my toe. <laughs> he tried to bite my toe because my toes were painted uh, pink, I think at the time, or red. And the, the tortoise goes for colors. It, it recognizes that as a different fruit than the normal green that it normally eats. So let me check on this. See how we're doing under there. Seven times to turn. Slippery breath. It's a slippery breath. Yeah. But he does, he likes to go after that stuff. And Stella runs out every morning when she's there. And she runs and goes and, and tries to eat the, the fruits and veggies before her. The, her, and, her and the tortoise are fighting over the, the fruits and veggies. Now, <coughs> I'm kind of old school. I still, like, I still like celery in my salad. You open the. It has an easy tab. It doesn't make it very easy. <laughs> I know it's like when you get the easy button. Isn't, isn't the easy button even that's easy? <laughs> All right. And I cut off the ends. And even though I got the snack packs, I make sure to cut off those ends. Mm hmm. That's an itty bitty one that they gave me. They gave me some big. But here's the normal size. You know, here's the normal three inch size or whatever. And then they gave me this tiny little scrawny one. <laughs> Who wants a scrawny one? I guess I'll just eat it now. Alright. That means I'll grab a bigger one. There we go. I'm going to sew off. Yeah, I'm doing it the real easy way. I'm not. <laughs> I won't be patting these ones down. They should be good. Always a trash over there. Trash, trash, trash. Thank you so much for joining in. You've got Mary Love. Well, I'm just slicing up. I'm going to need a bigger knife. And I'm just um, slicing up some of the celery to go in my tossed salad. Move that over to the end, down the end, 
And as I stated, I like color. So we're going to go. I got <laughs> wild wonders for my tomatoes. I like the, the, the different um, colors on the tomatoes, the yellows and the the yellows and the oranges, and sometimes there's like a almost purple color. It almost looks like a cherry or something. Shake, shake, shake. It's like the dice or something. Yeah. Yeah. I also slice these. I cut them in half. Again, I like the way that it looks in the salad. Hope you guys like it too. Thanks for joining me tonight for dinner. We're doing chicken, easy chicken, and we're also doing potatoes. <laughs> and we are, oh, I, <laughs> I can, I can smell the spice now. Woo, that just hit the back of my throat <laughs> with a vengeance. Woo wee. Right. I do like broccoli too, the broccoli course. So I'm just gonna snip that a little bit. But I'm going to trim these up a little bit more. So I'm not going to just plop them in there. Same thing. I'll pound these ones down. Uh-oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. I feel a sneeze coming on. That pepper is <laughs> cooking good. Right. Do you like broccoli? <laughs> it's is it broccoli or broccoli <laughs> when you have multiples? There. And I'm going to chop it a little bit more. I still cut the ends, even though they're little florets and they're already done. Give it a fresh cut. Who doesn't love a fresh cut? What else am I doing this weekend? I know that we're burning. I know burning is on the menu this weekend. Uh, worked on the back stairs, the back, the back stairs today. Uh, I got the back got new. <laughs> I got new new stairs into onto the porch in the back. Uh, the old ones were warped, and I, I had uh, the they had originally had really wide planks and I put them down to regular deck planks that had two by sixes and those two by sixes I, I we pulled up all the boards and then we placed new boards down and then this way it won't cup the the old boards were cupping in the middle it was just so big and it retained water and it even though they were pressure treated it wasn't working so take those out, we went to smaller boards, two by sixes, and then you could run two on each step and have water go down in between as needed. Now comes the fun one. I love mini cucumbers. Do you love mini cucumbers? I'm in love with these mini cucumbers. <laughs> I'm in absolute love with these mini, <laughs> mini ones. Ooh, that spice is hitting me. Yes, it is. I could probably go check on it. See these, look at these little one things. Aren't they cute? Oh, well, here's the thicker one. I want the thicker one. These ones are really cute. Um, these ones are thin. Hey, look at this one. This one has a, like a bulbous head <laughs> to it. This end's skinny, and that one is thick. Uh, this one's got a, a curve. That almost looks like a pickle, more so than, than a cucumber. And... I think this is the longest one in the bunch. Let's get the longest one. And the shortest one. No, that's the one with the funny head. Which one's the shortest one? That one's one? Let's see. Uh, that one's thicker at the base. Well, this one's tiny at the base and went up the other way. And then, yeah, so the one with the funny head on it is also the smallest of the group. He's tiny compared to the... Look at how tiny he is compared to that one. There you go. That's a big difference right there. Yes, that's a big difference. And then this one has the biggest girth. So, but is he bigger than the other one? Yep, he's still bigger by a long shot. So, 
I'm going to go with my two biggest. Wish I had the curve in there, too. Well, I am slicing them, so. And now, I do like to do, <coughs> excuse me, that spice. <coughs> I'm going to turn that down a bit. Make sure I'm not burning it. Flipped it again, just so it gets these sear marks on the underside. The sear marks on the top, but I want to see it on the bottom too. So, right. sadly, this one I, I can get my hand all around, but this one I can really wrap my hand all the way around them because it is much thicker. This one is much thicker than that one. And I did go with the two longest, the girthiest one, and then the longest one. Let's see. So that is just shy of six inches from the end, <laughs> um, from the palm of my hand to the tip of my finger. So that's that's not six inches long. So that, there. And the same with this one. This one is probably only going to be about five inches long. But this one is thicker. Uh, so I got a long and a thick one. So let's rinse the skin. I can on, on these ones. On on these ones, I like to keep the skin on it. I don't sometimes on the big thicker cucumbers, the big long thick cucumbers. On some of those, I definitely, um, I definitely will skin them, and so you have so it's not so much of a rind. But these ones, these baby ones. They're easy to, to bite right through. Okay. Again, and I'm going to cut off the tips. Oh, sorry, cucumbers. And just run right through slicing. I try to slice away from me. That's the other thing. And there's a way to do it where you make like this claw. I haven't mastered that. I'll keep working on it. I'll keep working on it. Thank you so much for joining me while we're making dinner tonight. <clears throat> I'm doing an easy chicken. I had a chili pepper oil that I massaged onto the brass. And then I also have potatoes that I did with a garlic and a garlic oil. So those those two flavors will mingle together. They will co-mingle. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, these little ones you could just, you know, just eat. No problem whatsoever. But I did slice them all up because I am tossing the salad. Thank you for the hearts. And I did extra cucumber. I could have gotten away with mine. But I'm not a one cucumber kind of girl. <laughs> I like multiple cucumbers. There we go. And a little more color. I'm going to add some radishes. There we go. I just have to stick my finger in the bag and pull it up, pull the radishes out. I'm a fan, again, of spicy things, and I like this root. I think of radish as a root because of, you know, like a carrot, because it's underground, and it's got that real root system on it. Of course, I am going to snip that root off. There we go. 
stuff. <clears throat> but I like the, the flavor that a radish gives. Again, it gives it a little bit of a bite. And I am all about that spice and bite. So, thank you for joining me while I'm preparing to toss my salad. Yes. The problem with that is I'm going to move to a small. See, this knife is too big now. That's too big to work on these. Because these are tiny. And I don't have a mandolin here. <clears throat> Again, at the beach house, I have a mandolin where you can just right across it and it'll all be uniform it's all the same size but here it's freehand I'm working it by hand I'm slicing it I'm working it I'm massaging it everything's done by hand now for those of you that might watch my live that I did <laughs> that I did um, I did the uh, I made chocolate chip cookies but when I made the chocolate chip cookies I realized when I started the live, I said, oh shoot, <laughs> I do not have a mixer here. I don't even have a hand mixer. I never mind a stand-up mixer. I didn't even have a hand mixer. So I had to mix everything literally by hand. I had the bowl up here and, and mixing the whole thing. So that was a fun and the, and the, the chocolate chip cookies were delicious. Um it came out fantastic. Thank you for joining me in that live. If you join me during that live. Hey, man. That's going to be the last one. I'm going to be comfortable with cutting. And now I have my spicy. Rather. All right, here you go. Now, when you look at my salad, it is more of little things than the actual salad. That's the way that I like it. So we're gonna just toss it. <laughs> now I don't know what you like for for dressing. I'm a balsamic kind of girl. <laughs> Again, I like the oils. I like uh, I like the oils. I'm not a uh, sometimes the creamy stuff, it's a little too creamy and a little too heavy. So if, if it's a light cream, if so, if I made it myself and it's a buttermilk cream or something like that, I can do that because that's a thinner, milkier, and it's not so heavy and clumpy. There's plenty of, like, but on the flip side, when I have my coffee, all the cream, please. <laughs> I need tons of cream in my coffee. It helps me get into the morning as much cream as possible. All right. Oh, I forgot. I have some mushrooms too. Who doesn't want to feed mushrooms? <laughs> I know it's a little fungi, but why not? Why not have these are already sliced? So I'm going with the theory that they've already been washed. I'm hoping maybe not. In the rest of the case, maybe I'll get a little dirt. Thank you so much for joining me for dinner tonight. I'm hoping that you're enjoying Make It With Mary, Easy Chicken, and Potatoes. In honor of Memorial Day weekend, I did get, I want some of that color on top, so I guess I'm going to have to hand tossing it, <laughs> or hand tossing that salad. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna put some on it. Whoops, I'm gonna slice this back off. The cat, I lost my top. I lost the top again. The top's not staying. Why aren't you staying on top? My top stay on. I don't know why this top won't stay on. Come on. There. I snapped it. There we go. And back up to the, up to my floating shelves that have been installed. How are we doing over here? Thinking. So let's test out, see how this grill can went.
Excellent. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to put this in the sink. And the cutting board is integrated, so if it was just me here and you weren't showing me with the dinner, I would chop right in the sink. So, um, but since you were joining me, I did it all on the countertop just for you. <clears throat> I laid it all out on the countertop just for you. Mm. Sorry, I still want to make those. Done. Clear spot. And salad is ready. Oh, I need some tongs for the salad. I don't know if I have salad tongs. Let's see what I got. I guess it's going to be just a big fork. Big fork. There we go. Put my knives away. <clears throat> Everything's going to go in the sink. Should be cleaned at a later date. Bring this over to you so you can see the chicken breasts. your potatoes and potatoes and chicken. Bon appetit. Thank you so for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed making dinner with me tonight, being here with me and joining me, watching the sun set. Hope you join me all weekend. As I said, I'll be around working on projects here at the farm all weekend long during this Memorial Day weekend. It's been wonderful to have you, making it with Mary. If you don't follow me, you should follow me. It's lots of fun. There's always something happening, and I try to bring you along on that journey. So, put, grab a plate, and it's time to eat. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions about where you can find me, you can always go to my profile. It tells you my actual uh, approved uh, accounts and where I'm at. So thank you again. Excuse me. I need a little water. I still have some of that chili pepper at the back of my throat. I have to, I have to gargle it out. Ah. Again, Thanks so much for joining Making It with Mary. You have me, Mary Burke, live. The real Mary Burke, because you have me live. This isn't uh, pre-recorded. You've got me actually doing this right now. And so you know <laughs> that you got me. It's not the fakey phonies. There's lots of those out there. So it is time to eat. It is time to dig in. I'm going to need another big fork so that we can, let's see, I don't have another big fork. <laughs> you got a fork I can borrow? Uh, let's see. Guess not. Oh, wait, maybe down here. Another big fork. Excellent. So, join me tomorrow. We'll be up to more Stuff. I, again, a lot of, lot of yard work tomorrow, a lot of being outside, 
and doing stuff in on around the outside of the property. Today was back stairs. My back door is all set. My back porch is all set. Uh, I still have to hang some lights out out back. Make sure I see you coming. Uh, at, <laughs> if you try to sneak up uh, my backside, and then we have uh, the back steps have now been have been redone. Inside, there's still lots to rehab inside as well. I have more flooring to do in different rooms as well as uh, casings around the windows and doors. So I'll be nailing that to the wall as uh, soon as I can. <clears throat> Taking care of the animals is a daily thing. I have uh, brand new baby chicks. I have teenage chicks and grown chicks. The teenagers are out in the yard with the, um, with the adults now but they still have their own pen, so they're not quite in with the adults, but they are running around outside, whereas the baby chicks are just in their uh, brooder sec section. They're not introduced yet. Um, Papa Pig is still doing well. He has new automatic water feeders, which I can, I can show to you tomorrow. Uh, I also put a a combination automatic water feeder for the two dogs on either side of the fence. I have two outdoor dogs, a, a guard dog and a guard dog in training. The guard dog in training is way too lovable. <laughs> the actual guard dog, he is just that. He lets you know whenever somebody is coming down the road or through the woods or somebody comes uh, unannounced. So he's, he's on it, he lets you know. And he's, he's not somebody to be messed with. Thank you for the gift. I appreciate that. I love the hearts. Thank you so much. Uh, what else is there to do? The, the, there's still lots to do in the pole barn. I hooked up the Wi-Fi so that uh, the RV pad is all set. Water, utilities, uh, the, the sewer, the electric, the cable, they're all up and running and ready for guests uh, this Memorial Day weekend. So uh, so that's another, another fun thing right there. Uh, hopefully getting out and doing some four-wheeling again this weekend, e uh, either just around on my own property or going out to an, RV, uh, an ATV park. Because I have the ATV and the UTV <clears throat> Excuse me, and ready to ready to have some fun with that again. I promise this time I'm not flipping it. <laughs> I promise I won't do that this time. Um, what other projects? Oh, uh, I did a lot of a lot of organization or a lot of organization this week. So I know that's not fun. Oh, if you saw my live a couple of nights ago. Oh, thank you for the roses. They're so sweet. <gasps> I can smell them from here. I did get myself some flowers over here for, and they were red, white, and blue. So we had some colors going on there. So uh, the hydrania, they, they died from. <clears throat> but um, we are definitely uh, doing some organization stuff and uh, cause I did the my tools. My tools were in shambles. <laughs> they were such a shambles that I had to uh, sit down and organize my tools, but I played a game with you guys when I did it. So if you haven't seen that, I think YouTube has that uh, video up where, thank you, uh, where I was organizing my tools and asking everybody if they knew what the tools were. The only one that really caught people off guard that they didn't know was my crimper for my shark bite. So for my PEX tubing. <laughs> but everybody else was able to get pretty much any of the other tools that I had. So that was the only that was the only uh, hard one in the bunch. Again, thank you so much. It's time to dig in and have dinner. So I must say good night to you. Later I will maybe be making brownies. Who knows? Uh, uh, I do like something sweet for dessert. So I have my protein, I have my starch with my potatoes, and I have my tossed salad. It's time to dig in and, and eat. Thank you so much again for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.